Hi, my name is Scotty Anderson, and I'm here to talk to you today about Diebold Nixdorf's solutions for merchant automation. Merchant automation is an important factor of, of what we're trying to do to streamline and reduce the friction for a number of our merchant customers, as well as their consumers, as they deal with the cash in their, in their cash cycle processes. There's three use cases we'll cover today. The first one I'd like to talk about is the automation of the cash float. A number of merchants in the mornings, they send their staff uh, to the branch. They're queuing up in line. They're wasting re uh, resources to, to get the cash float and a mix of bills or coin when that process could be automated and available to them 24-7. The second use case we'll talk about is the end of day processing. Merchants find it very cumbersome to take the cash out of their tills from their daily taking and actually put that into a night safe or line up again in the branch and try and process those transactions using a teller when really we could be automating those processes as well and giving them instant access to funds and giving them 24-7 availability. The last use case we'll talk about is a unique one in that sometimes consumers, when they want to get cash out, they're not necessarily local to an ATM that's convenient for them. However, we have retail merchants who have a number of cash tills that are full of cash and that costs them money to sit on that inactive cash. So what we're doing is automating the process and putting the ATM in a virtual space now being in the retail environment and using the point of sale cash till as an ATM per se. So let's walk through some of these use cases. Assume that I'm a merchant and in the morning I'm going to pre-stage my cash float. Uh, and in this case, I may be staging it to get a mix of notes that I need to uh, supplement in my cash drawer. And instead of, again, going into the branch and doing a standard withdrawal over the counter, I'll use my online banking portfolio or my mobile banking portfolio to pre-stage that transaction. So simply by adding the amount that I want to withdraw, and in some cases they could actually define the denominational mix that they're looking for, I can submit a request for that and I can generate a use case where it could be a QR code, it could be a, a one-time PIN, but I can now email that transaction request to one of my staff members in that retail outlet. So now I've got that convenience of being able to issue that request and have that person go fulfill that at a self-service terminal without having to issue a piece of plastic to that customer. So I'll send that email off and then that email can be fulfilled at a later time. I'm gonna also talk a little bit about the second part of that use case, which is the end of day uh, deposit and how to automate those processes as well. So assume again, it's the end of day and my merchant wants to take the cash out of their till and bundle that up for deposit. Similar to what we did with the cash float, now I can pre-stage that transaction through an online or mobile banking platform and actually send that request again to a runner or a staff member in that retail outlet and have them fulfill that at the ATM. So once again, we're generating that email. This could be an SMS. There's a variety of ways that that can be fulfilled. But on my mobile device now, whether I'm the merchant who is going to fulfill on that or whether I've actually sent that request off to uh, one of my staff members, the emails are now queued and ready to go for their fulfillment at a later point in time when they go to the self-service device. So you'll see in here, each of those use cases now has either a one-time use code or one-time PIN or a QR code that can be fulfilled at a self-service device. The secondary piece or the third use case that I'm going to show you uh, quickly here is now I'm a customer and I'm perhaps walking through a shopping center. I've pre-staged a withdrawal on my mobile phone, but I forgot to go to the ATM to fulfill that. Here's an opportunity where the bank might have a partnership with a retailer who decides that they want to utilize the cash in their till and operate this as an ATM, if you will. So again, I've pre-staged a withdrawal transaction and I've generated a one-time QR code or PIN. So what I'm going to do now is actually fulfill this as if I were a merchant in the, in the actual store. So I've queued up the QR code, I've validated that in my system, and now through the point of sale, I'm actually, as a retailer, able to take that transaction through to completion. What we've done effectively then is reduce the, the, the balance of the cash in the till, made that more active cash for the retailer. In addition to that, that's saving them money and time because they're taking less cash out to, to deposit into the branch and they're not charged as much as a result of that because cash handling within the branches tends to be very expensive. So now I've fulfilled, I can empty that out of my drawer, 
the balancing processes and all of the debits and credits are completely finalized in the back end of the system. The merchant doesn't have to do anything further on that regard. So at this point in time, we're going to actually go over to the ATM and show you the first two use cases and how they can be fulfilled at self-service. So now we're going to fulfill on those pre-stage transactions that we showed you on the mobile and online banking platforms. So in this case now, I'm the uh, staff member of that retailer or I may be the merchant themselves and I'm going to go to the self-service device to fulfill on those transactions. The first use case that we talked about was the cash float and getting that cash for the till for the start of day. And as I would mentioned that we can pre-stage that amount and in fact we could even do it so that the customer could then select the mix of notes that they wanted to get out of the, out of the machine. In this case we've kept it really simple, we're just doing a quick in and out transaction. So using the mobile device, again I'll go into the email that uh, was sent to me perhaps by my, my uh, business owner. And again I have a cash code here to get cash out and a QR code. They can approach the ATM and now instead of them having to have a merchant card issued to them, they can use their own mobile device and do a cardless transaction on the self-service terminal simply by scanning the QR code. This then goes back into the back-end system, pulls up that transaction reference that's already been approved, and the cash is dispensed. So this really streamlines a lot of the processes that the merchant has to go through. They don't have to line up in the branch any longer to get their cash in the mornings. It gives them a lot more convenience. The second part of that use case, now it's the end of day and the consumer needs to deposit their funds back into their account so that they can get credit or provisional credit against their account. We no longer have to go into the branch to fulfill that. Again, I've teed up that transaction through the mobile device and I can actually go ahead and use a deposit code. Again, same thing, QR, one-time PIN. I'll use the one-time PIN this time, which is 78008, uh, go cardless. 7808, confirm, and that again will look up that transaction request and the self-service device is now ready to be, uh, to take the cash in and fulfill that deposit. Once those transactions are completed, this deposit code or this withdrawal code in the mobile device is no longer active. It can only be used one time and it's automatically cancelled after that. So I'll deposit those notes, they can get a receipt for this, and the other benefit is we can actually track this and send a, a notification via SMS or email back to the merchant to let them know that they've actually had their funds deposited to their account. So it really closes the loop, it gives that merchant uh, some uh, confidence that their, their uh, staff member has done the deposit on time, that the amounts are correct, and everything is fulfilled in a self-service manner.